So this is a uh, fake Facebook page that we have. It's a kind of a testing page that we use here at Casual Fridays and Scoreboard Social to demonstrate things. And right now I'm going to show you how you would add or subtract admins from a page. So um, when you go to the Facebook page, sometimes if you already have admin rights, you may see up here it says admin panel and it have your cover photo. But you'll notice um, if you hit show, it shows you a lot more of this other stuff as well. Um, since this is a dummy page, it's not really showing anything. But you would um, go up here under edit page and then click under manage admin roles. And you click on that and you can see these are all the admins um, that we currently have as our, you know, that have access to our dummy page. Now, you have a few options here. You can um, add a new admin simply by typing their name or email. So if you type their name and they're your Facebook friend, um, it would automatically populate. Um, you can just see if I type a couple names, they're showing up some of my Facebook friends. Uh, if you're not Facebook friends with somebody that you want to give admin rights to, just simply type their email. So it could be, you know, test at test.com. The kicker is this person would have to have liked the page. If they don't like the page, you're not going to be able to add them um, this way. So really the first step you do with anybody who you're trying to grant admin rights to is make sure they like the page. Um, you can see there's different roles. You can give them manager rights, content creator rights, moderator rights, advertiser rights, and insights analyst rights. Um, I should note, if you do give somebody manager rights, they have full control over the page, meaning they can delete other admins. So that means they could delete you, for example. They could delete the page. So only give manager rights to people who you thoroughly trust. Um, and, and, and again, if you want to delete somebody with admin rights on this page, you just simply hit the X button, for example. And then when you hit save, it's going to ask you to enter your password again. And you see that person is gone. And the same thing goes if you add someone that they ha you'd have to enter your password again too. And it's your personal password for your Facebook page. Now, one thing that uh, a lot of people assume, or I shouldn't say people assume, but people who aren't too familiar with Facebook, um, they sometimes think that there's just a username and password for their Facebook page, um, for their, their fan page. And that's just not the case. Facebook doesn't have a username and password for a Facebook pages. They just don't they give you admin rights. So, you know, of course they want everybody to be on Facebook. So they want you to use your personal page to manage any Facebook page. So if you are a person and you have a business and you want to, you know, check into your Facebook page, but you don't want to create a personal profile, you're kind of out of luck. Um, you can still create a personal profile and have a fake name and all that and, and use that and give that account admin rights. Um, technically that is against Facebook's terms of, of service, but you certainly can do it. Um, but people who manage pages, um, it's done so through admin rights and you have to, um, get that with your personal account and that's how you do it.